hello everyone it's me asmr welcome in your to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you the urban type modern portrait that is the outdoor portrait photography editing presets and how to use that preset for the camera filter and how to get the output like this and the before image was like that and i use here a stock image i'll provide you the stock image download link in my video description for the practice purpose and after adding the preset you will get this type of effects in your photographs so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications i'm closing this off and go to the file and open up here is my stock image i'll just open and press ctrl j and then filter camera filter camera filter is a plugin of the photoshop you know that and if you want to get this one by default in your photoshop you have to install the photoshop creative cloud version otherwise you can in install it in the separate way if you want to get the download link of the camera plugins installation please check out my video description and you'll get a small menu over here and go to the load settings options and from here i'll provide you this urban girl this preset or xmp file and open it up you'll get this type of look in your photographs and let's see what i have done here and uh, what was the settings here the contrast 13 plus 13 actually highlight minus 38 and the uh, whites that is 31 plus 31 and clarity 9 and variance 10 and the saturation 12 after that tone curve i just made the tone curve here rgb tone curve just a little bit down here and the blue tone curve i made here three points and i just make the point up in a just right left side actually and green didn't touch that red didn't touch that after that sharpening and noise reduction i didn't touch that and after that i just given here the value of the red saturation here is the hsl panel actually you're getting here hue saturation and luminance that means hue the color palette uh, what will be the color ribbon that means uh, it will be red yellow or the pink this one is the hue saturation is how deep the color is and luminance is how like light or how like blink will be the color like that so here saturation i made this one plus 21 orange minus 21 and yellow why just uh, i made this one orange 20 minus 20 just because of i want to make the skin color a little bit down that's why that means the if i make it like this it will be more you know, like uh, uh, not proper color of the skin so that i just made it minus 21 and the yellow plus 18 and the green plus 17 aqua plus 17 and blue plus 26 luminance i made the luminance of the orange and the yellow for the light color of the skin that's why plus 20 and 13 and hue i didn't touch that except the aqua color i just made the aqua here minus 43 and split toning value 56 of the highlight and the saturation that is 14 what is the highlight and what is the shadow and what is the hue and what is the saturation so in this picture you are getting some highlight portion and what color will be the highlight portion that is defined with the hue or highlights this one and the shadow of the photo is defined the shadow color so that's why this is called the split toning that means you are splitting the tone in a highlight and shadow so here the value of the hue that is 56 and hue define what color will be in a highlight options so the color hue that is 56 and saturation 14 and the shadow hue that is 200 and the saturation 17 don't make the saturation rt or above the 20 so it will tell your photographs so no lens correction is true over here and the dehaze i made the dehaze that is 17 if i make it like that it will be hazy that's why i just made it minus 17 uh, actually plus 17 actually so that's good and the uh, amount of vignetting that is minus 5 and camera calibration camera calibration you know camera calibration is three primary color red 
green and blue and red primary hue and saturation layer over here or panel or slider whatever you can tell if i make this one a little bit uh, left or right it will change the color so hue of the red primary that is plus 31 and green primary plus 38 and minus 17 actually minus 27 of the blue primary just because of i want to make this one aqua type that's why and the saturation i made it plus 27 and here just press ok you'll get the setup or the change like that so if you want to add another filters or other steps you can add this in this case i'll add some like a uh, nick collection from nick collection color effects proofer go to the filter and nick collection color effects proofer so nick collection is my favorite plugins in photoshop a uh, bunch of presets and bunch of uh, like filters over here and uh, you can get this one free of cost of the trial version please check out my video description for the download link of the camera or nick collection filter or plugins whatever you can tell from here i'm using the cross processing lots of methods over here you can use which one is perfect for your photographs and this case i'll use the c04 you can adjust the strength i'm just uh, made here 33 and hit ok so it will take time to load it up and depends on your pc configuration for loading time and it will give you the final output to the before and after so before one was like that and after one you're getting like that so huge change and the amazing look you are getting over here so if you want to get the download link the preset please check out my video description this one is free of cost you can download this one and you can use in your photography but one thing in your photography this same light won't be in your photography it might not be in your photography same light or same tone uh, i'll suggest you to adjust the light it will give you the best output in your photographs like this type of preset so this one is the uh, like a uh, disclaimer of the preset or uh, this one is the like assumption or like a uh, warning whatever you can tell but i'll suggest you to adjust the light with your photography like uh, change you can change you have the assumption you can change the lights so hope that you will get the best output for your photographs hope that you learn a lot from this video and it will help you out a lot so don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notification more amazing things and free presets pack and other stuffs is coming next so until the next video i am asmr signing out today bye bye